My name is Christine Besvina. I'm a thoracic medical oncologist, which is a fancy way of saying I treat patients who have lung cancer, both non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer. As an undergraduate, I had studied engineering, which uh, really gets to the basic science part of, of things. But after working in labs for a couple of summers, I realized that wasn't going to be enough for me. I really needed people in front of me because that's what drives me. That's what gets me out of bed in the morning are the relationships that I have with other people. And so medicine was a perfect combination of the science, understanding why things work and how we can make them work better, but also being able to use that skill set on a person in front of me in a way that can help make a real difference in their life. Every time I meet a new patient, we talk through what's important to them, whether it be quality of life, length of life, both, what does it look like, who's important to them, who are their support persons, and then we make a treatment plan based off of that. And so my philosophy is to get to know the patient and then make the treatment plan from there. We have an amazing multidisciplinary group here uh, at University of Chicago. We've been able to work with both thoracic surgery as well as radiation oncology to provide the best standard of care, whether it be on or off protocol. And I think that really our team is a gem in the city for patients with early stage disease who are looking to maximize their chance of cure. So one of the amazing things that has happened in the last 10 years in lung cancer is that we really have learned how to personalize patient care for, for those with lung cancer. We do this through their genomic profile or understanding the genetics of their cancer. And we often are able to match patients with targeted therapies that are the right treatment for them. Oftentimes, this can be done in the context of a clinical trial where I've been fortunate enough to participate in many trials over the past decade that have led to FDA approvals that give patients new hope that we've never seen before in lung cancer for length of life, quality of life, and also increasing the chance of cure. And so I really think there is so much hope right now for any patient with lung cancer, but particularly within the context of clinical trials.